Hey YouTubers, it's Racer PS2 and Electronic Repair with another cool PlayStation 2 repair video. Um, this one's a 3900N. Uh, Sony's been in this one. Um, never been opened after that. Like I told you, so you know when Sony's been in here and they did this. The expansion bay cover's missing. I have one. That's not a big deal. This one supposedly has no power. That said, eBay. Um, let's check and make sure it doesn't have any power before you continue here. Come on, power switch. Drum roll, please. Uh, nope, no power. I'll get this tore down and I'll be right back. And we're back, folks. Looks like we got a 1-468-634-11. Uh, the revision number looks like it's a B. I believe I've worked on one of these before. Let's uh, find out. Because if it is, I'm just going to put an optocoupler and a, and a cap on her and call her a D. Sorry, uh, yeah, an octocoupler, that's what they're called. I only have one left of those two. I do have a aftermarket Chinese power supply here right now, but those do work, but I, if I can fix the OEM one, I fix the OEM ones. You're going to get a longer lasting repair out of it. I said if it's relevant to the channel, I try to record it. Um, I got some 2DSs that we might do a broken screen repair on. Um, I have to get the parts for it, but I got a couple of them like that. Uh, one I'm actually fighting with a Goodwill because they're trying to say it was sh it was charging, and then I get it and it wasn't charged. And I've already sent that one to Nintendo. I don't play with the charging circuit on those boards. Um, they, it's a very complicated circuit. Um, Usually the charge ports go bad, but um, I've seen it where it's not just the charge port, so. And if you have another 2DS that works, you can actually charge the battery up. And that's what I did in that one of them. Yeah, we've worked on this power supply before. It's one of my first videos. Check that out, everybody. I'm going to change the optocoupler and the cap, and I'll be right back. And we're back, everybody. I just changed the cap for on C003 for giggles. And there we go. We got standby light. Let me get the uh, thing put back properly, and I'll be right back. All right, guys. Here's the cap location it's c3 on this board uh, apparently the optocoupler is good i did not change it i have a new one though like i said this isn't the correct quality of solder job it's a quick solder job but it'll do the job there it is see that's what i'm saying it does the job it looks like it's bridged Right there, but it's not. Otherwise, you just saw some fireworks. Trust me. Um, we're gonna go ahead and get this back together right. Um, like I said, it was a test. This was a test situation. But yeah, that one is a I think 27 microfarad, 35 volt. I put a 33 microfarad, 35 volt in here. Let me see here. Yeah, they did not use quality caps on here. Nope, it's a 35 microfarad, 35 volt, 33 microfarad, 35 volt. Let 
There's that. There's your, there's your reading. These are very far. I had a bunch of them. eBay a long time ago. I bought them in a bulk. I can put them on the older power supplies. I wonder if this thing's leaking. Let's find out. Come on, focus. There we go. Yeah, it doesn't even look like it's got any fluid in it. But yeah, let's get this back together, shall we? And see if the laser's any good. Let's see if it's got rumble. I might not have a laser because this is a 35001. That's an N model. I might get lucky. It's an AS serial code, like I showed you. I'm going to probably pop the drive open in case to see if, I, if it's a 3400R or not. But yeah, like I told you, I fixed the power supplies. I don't. I mean, I have a backup aftermarket Chinese power supply if I had to actually use it. Or I have backup working ones in my stash. Or I'll buy a PlayStation 2 with a broken door like this and use the drive parts out of it. Because if you're looking for a drive from Dennis, you're looking at 30 bucks. And if you're in the refurbishment business, that's... Excuse the camera. Um, that's a lot of money. Especially when you're trying to make make a profit it's like I told you they ain't giving these away on eBay I'll tell you that much and we'll put her through his pay put her through the paces on the TV as well and I will put that in this video like I said like and subscribe um, got maybe got some DS repairs coming we'll see Depends on the severity of it. Um, I do have another. I got a couple of cracked screens, like I told you. Uh, I got one from Goodwill in South Carolina. Paid forty-five bucks for it. The screens are fifty bucks. Uh, on the two DS side on Nintendo, um, they still fix the AW models. Um, anything with the serial number AW. Um, anything, anything three DS related, you're kind of out of luck. I gotta get some more of those opto couplers too. Can't find any in the US though. They're all in China. I don't trust anything that comes from China. Unless they say they're brand new, I don't buy anything used. There is counterfeit chips out there. People laugh at me when I say that, but there is. I've gotten a few. All right, I'm gonna get this little ribbon cable back on that I like to take off because it's easier for me. Um, I'll be right back in a second. All right, I got it back in the casing off. I'm gonna take a peek and see what laser this is. Cause if we got a bad laser, I ain't gonna, and it's a 400R, I don't have one. Usually when Sony's in here, you don't have an issue, but if they've been sitting for a very long time, you do. said like and subscribe I need more subscribers I need more people watching the videos I'm 
Oh look, a free game. It's got DDR2 in it. Dance Dance Revolution Extreme 2. Let's go ahead and take that out of there. Oh, it's a 400C. I got plenty of those. How's the disc look? Jackpot. It's a DVD too. Cool. <laughs> Jackpot. I'll leave the cover off for now in case we gotta change the laser. I'll be right back. We'll hook it up to the TV. All right, folks. We got her hooked up to the TV, and we still got power. Hook it up and see if it's got video. Oh, it died. It just died. Interesting. We may have to change the thermocoupler after all. Optocoupler. She keeps going out. Mm. See, I know to make mistakes, guys. You gotta go all you got. She keeps going out. See? I'm gonna go ahead and change that, uh, Opto coupler. It's probably bad. Um, but for. Yep, she goes right back out. Alright, guys. I'll be right back. Alright, folks. Let's see if it stays on more than two seconds. Hey, hey, hey. It was touch and go there for a minute. I kind of ripped a trace, but it seems to be working now. Let's uh, turn the TV. Well, probably, uh, that'll be the last parts pipe repair this one's probably going to get. We got picture. Yeah, I need it's always the optocouplers and that fuse, uh, that um, thing. Um, like I said, it's a P24, uh, a P2421F, it's a Tabisha optocoupler. I'm sure it comes out a little slow and it's being a little weird. I found a DDR disc in here. Let's see if it works. Yeah, I kind of ripped the trace on one of the, um, one of the, um, I think it's pin three, I think. Uh, the trace came up. I was able to, uh, fix it, so. Oh, looks like Dance Dance Revolution works. Well. Yeah, I didn't do any trace repair. I just pushed it back down, resoldered it back to the board. The pad came up a little bit. Very, very careful with that stuff. Back in business. It says there's no whatever. Sure. Uh, I've never had this game, so bear with me. This was a free game, so. Yeah, sometimes you get free games in your systems when the power dies. Yeah, they came. This dan this came with a uh, pad, the DDR pad. I don't have one. Cool. I'm not gonna play this. We're just gonna. 
A new game, whatever. You look good. So many you like that, 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 that. Oh, like I said, we know that works. Oh, is it the uh, the eject motor started to act right after I pushed on it a little bit. Usually, if, if the eject motor's got a little bit of dust or dirt in them, they'll. The flags get messed up, but we're going to get our actual discs out. We need to test rumble and all that good stuff, so. And a PlayStation disc. Like I said, that's nice. The DDR pad, probably. Um, yeah, I know. I was... I should have changed that optocoupler, too. That Those boards. That was the first board I ever worked on. And I should have trusted my gut on that one. That tells you if you change that cap, folks, your optocoupler is junk. That's another way to test it. That's 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 pretty good to know. Yeah, sorry for monkeying around the camera. I'm trying to get my test tips here. Let's I said, let's do some real testing on this thing. Because if it doesn't need a laser, it's not getting one. <laughs> I, I these lasers are expensive and. They're just, they're, they're ridiculously expensive now. I remember I get them for 10 bucks. The, they're not 10 bucks anymore. And once they're gone, they're probably going to be gone. Go ahead and put a PlayStation disc in here. All our all favorite Rage Racer. And yeah, she loaded up. Like I said, this was a Sony console. Sony was in it, so I wouldn't expect anything less. It goes out. Absorb the speed. The one and only Rage Racer. Rage Racer. So she plays the PlayStation disc, guys. Laser's good in this one so far. But the real test is when we put SOCOM in here. If you can't read a Sony based game or game at all, then your laser's crap. I did sell one of these. I don't know if it was one of you guys, but uh, I did sell one off of eBay. I appreciate whoever did it. Um, it really helps the channel. One, I can get you more busted PlayStations. Seems like this is playing okay. I'm not going to sit here monkey with it too bad. Like I said, I try to make these videos short and sweet and to the point sometimes, but I'm trying to show you guys my testing process so you guys know that it's a consistent process and that... It's a time-tested process. Yes, I should have checked before putting it back in there with the voltmeter to find out that it went from 12 to nothing. But I don't have my voltmeter here, so... I need to get a one for the house. I, don't know, I use my voltmeter at work most of the time. Like I said, I am an auto repair technician and by trade. This is kind of a hobby to me. But... I've been fixing PlayStation 2 since they came out in 2000 something. Um, like I told you, I used to send these into Sony by the buttload for laser problems. I had not fixed them because I'd get them fixed for free. Rot roll. There she goes. This might be a G22 older board, older version. PlayStation. Hooray! Like I said, like and subscribe. Like the videos. Rate, watch my videos. I'm sorry. I've been not putting uh, every weekly videos. I've been trying to get these 
on the regular, but uh, yeah, I have between dealing with the, my kids and on the weekends and stuff like that and trying to find quality PlayStations on eBay, it's been tough. Like I said, we're probably going to do a couple 2DS repairs. Um, I'm still thinking about that because I have one that's got a shattered screen on the inside. Um, the screens are expensive. With the digitizer, they're about 60 bucks. Um, for another five bucks, I can actually send them to Nintendo to have them repaired. And they give you a pretty substantial, nice warranty, let me tell you. It's about 90 days. It's not, It's about another year warranty. It's, it's, it's a very nice warranty from Nintendo. That's why I usually send my Nintendo products back to Nintendo. And you call them and say you're having an issue and it's under warranty and you didn't do anything to it. They'll, they'll do, they'll fix it no problem. So, I've never had issues with Nintendo, so. But I might buy one just for the sake of having a how-to video up here. There is a bunch on YouTube, but they're very not detailed and they're very scattered. Anyways, enough of this. See, she goes in a game and she rumbles. U.S. Special Operations. U.S. Special Operations. Let's go ahead and deploy. Let's see if I can scoot up here. Scoot back anyway. Yeah, sometimes in these PlayStations you'll get a free game. <laughs> um, it might be the it might be a good game, it might be a crap game. <laughs> this one's a crap that one I got was a crap game, but um, like I said, PlayStations have been getting up there in price for busted PlayStations. I tried to get a lot of five PlayStations from the same Goodwill I got that two DS from that now they want it back because I tried to say it was it wasn't as described and it wasn't. Um, 2DS's, if you leave the um, SD cards on them, they won't boot. Because your software is on them. That's where your boot software is. For updates and stuff, that's where they're stored. So this one went in the game. Let's see if she'll move. Locate Mallard. Yada, yada, yada. So she rumble. She rumbles. See, she's moving. Do do do. Yeah, she's got rumble. She goes left. She goes right. She goes up. She goes down. That means this controller port is good. So that's awesome. I might. I'm. We'll check a CD-based game and a DVD, and I think I'll leave you with that. And like I said, go ahead and reset it. I found something really cool too, and I should have showed you on camera. Um, but the controller port screws out. If you have an issue, um, you leave the controller port screws out just for testing purposes for your power supply repair. Um, apparently, if you leave the controller port screws out, you can actually pull the entire bottom off without even taking the top off. It's pretty neat. Hey, you learn something new every day, huh? I'll have to show you that on camera one of these days. Yes, I use time-tested test discs because I know they've been resurfaced. How many times they've been resurfaced and that they're scratch-free. Any hiccup in the laser or anything like that, I change them out. So, go ahead and put our favorite Ford Racing 3 in here. And I'll leave you off with the turtles. I said another PlayStation 2 safe from the grade 39001 slash in. As you can tell, it's got the newer upgraded final version power supply for these. Version 5 through version 7s. Like I said, um, board numbers, I'll put the board number in the description. Looks like she's going to boot up. Because I'll get this uploaded as soon as this is done. So somebody's probably going to be looking for uh, 
parts by failure for this one and uh, I usually put in the description what they are um, so people know. This one looks okay. Let's go ahead and skip all that. Seems to be tracking okay on a CD. This one, Ford Racing 3 likes to rumble really well. I use this for fixing rumble problems. Welcome to Ford Racing 3. Welcome to Ford Racing 3. I checked the, check the memory card stuff and all off camera. I'll check the second control port too. That's what I normally do. Like I said I don't use Mario the Mario DVDs anymore. I get dinged for it every time. It's kind of dumb. It's kind of stupid. I own the DVDs, but YouTube likes to because the author has their own YouTube page. They ding me for it. I'll show you this thing rumbles. I'll hit something on purpose. See? This is really good for testing rumble. Just put her on the floor and see if she rumbles. That's all I do. Like I said, we'll put a DVD in here and I'll leave you at that. Just trying to show you guys that, you know, I'm sorry not to make these videos too long, but show you I do make mistakes and uh, I don't trust my gut sometimes I'm trying to get a better maybe get a better camera set up so you guys can see when traces come up and how I solder and how I do things quickly and efficiently um, I don't use flux the stuff I have already has flux in it it was from Radio Shack it's 6040 resin core automotive solder that already has flux in it. And that's what they use in the industry as well. So I'm going to go ahead and reset at the side of the PlayStation. See, it seems that tray is doing better now, too, just by. Flagging it up, flagging it down a couple times. Looks like we'll do season five, disc 13 of the Turtles. If it wants to play nice and come out without wrecking itself. Cool. Let's see if this one plays. There it goes. There you go. I got a healthy working PlayStation 2, guys. This one does not need a laser, and it's not getting one. It's how I roll. Like I said, that's my setup right there. It's soft modded. The laser's been replaced two years, two, two years ago. Um, it's a 5000 series. I like the 5000 series because it has everything you want in it. You even got the DVD... Uh, IR, the DVD IR thing for it. I don't have a remote for it though. I don't use it as a DVD player. I do check to make sure it plays DVDs. Um, every once in a while I'll do that. Because you don't want your laser rotten out because you're not playing DVDs in it. But Yeah. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. And there you go, guys. Like and subscribe.
I try to get videos up uh, more frequently, but as of right now, I'm dealing with my family and my kids and work and trying to find repairable stuff on eBay is just getting ridiculous. And we'll see what happens. Like I said, I might put a 2DS repair up. Um, simple repairs I'll do. Uh, anything with a charging circuit on those, I will not. Um, if anything beyond the um, charging port's bad, um, I usually send them to Nintendo. It's cheaper than me screwing them up. So um, I know about the charging circuit on those. So, but uh, like I said, uh, hopefully, um, like and subscribe, and I'll hopefully get another video up soon. Um, like I said, this one was an opto uh, opto coupler and a fuse and and a and a and a cap. Um, so it was like my first video back two three years ago. So uh, like I said, we'll uh, catch you guys on the next one. Thanks.